Welcome to the CSIT at Experts online forum. So in this, uh, how do we uh, identify wave object uh, using XPath and CSS uh, selector or class name, something like this. Let us go to a very simple website, google.com. If we go to google.com, for instance, we have uh, various web elements here on this page. For instance, at the uh, upper uh, left corner, we have about link. This is a hyperlink. When we hover our, hover our mouse over any hyperlink item, item, so we see that uh, our uh, like finger uh, with, the, with an index finger, with the index finger like in pointing, and that uh, the hyperlink element. So this about and store these are hyperlinks, and here in the bottom left corner advertising, advertising, business, and on the right uh, bottom corner we have privacy terms settings. So these are the hyperlink and other elements. For instance, we have here this is a search text box and we know this this is a button this is a button this is a button so let us when uh, meanwhile let us open our project so we are working on uh assignment one zero zero four right so okay yeah. okay so meanwhile eclipse is opening on let us uh, let us see how do we uh, identify or trace web elements? So all elements on this web page, by one by a single name, we identify. We call them web elements. Okay, web elements. So there there are different kinds of web elements. Some are like these are button elements. These are text box element. For instance, these are hyperlink element. So there, there are this is the first element. Maybe there are different types of web elements. Now, uh, okay. So for instance, if we want to, for instance, if we write a program like an information uh, program, and if we want to click on the privacy button, so then uh, in order to write our automation code, we have to detect the. The position or the identity of privacy elements. So how do we do that? So we select the we what we either we select the button the element or just bring our mouse over the element and do a right click. So when we do right click, we have several like options over here, options over here. So we will do the inspect, the last one inspect, okay. So when the inspect window uh, pops up, we will see differently. Hold on a second. So it will show me like this window will be uh, divided into two major parts. On the left part, it is showing it is very small, like if it is a magnifying, magnifying privacy element over here on the left. And on the right side, we will see we will see our Selected elements. So you see that when I bring my mouse pointer on the right side, the highlighted part, it is it will, it being highlighted on the left side here. You will see that here in privacy, this will be highlighted when I bring my mouse on the right side. So once we see this, that actually initially I intended to inspect these privacy elements, right? So then when I click on the privacy, right click on the privacy, and then when I click inspect, then I got this part selected on the right side. These are the actual code. These are the actual code, HTML code for the web page. And when I hover over mouse, you see the enable section, the corresponding web part, element part on the left side, Gets highlighted. You see here. So when I bring my mouse pointer on the right, when this, this part is highlighted because 
I initially intended or targeted to inspect this privacy. So this is why it's highlighted over here. So let us see. So when we click over here, then now we do click over here and then we can copy. So at the bottom corner we see a copy export. We see this is copy export. Then we have other options, copy, select or copy out or HTML. Okay. So let us copy outer X, uh, outer HTML first. Let us see what happens. And if we copy copy element, okay. Okay, so let us let us do the copy element first. Let us see what we come we come up with. So I said I click on copy element, so then I want to open Notepad plus plus file. So remember, I click on copy link. So what is copied over here? The entire thing. The entire thing. You see? Okay. So let us remember this. Let us, and then now, let, us, let me do right click again. And at this time, I want to click on copy out of this channel. So let me click on copy out. I already click on copy out element and then I copy out element. So we don't see any difference between copy element and copy out element. So there are some differences in some cases, but there is not here. Right? So here I, I will copy this one. Okay. So then if I do the right click over here, then select copy, then copy. Selector, copy selector. Then I will bring my notepad over here and then PC selector. This is selector. Okay. This is selector. So this is selector. And this is HTML outer HTML outer. And in the Okay. Now this time I want to copy. So, uh, X part. This is X part. This is X part. Okay. So now, okay. okay. Let us try to understand this thing first, like either element or outer HTML. Sorry. Outer HTML. So the element or outer HTML, so whatever we, if we highlight it, either one. So you see, this is a tag. So this is a tag. This tag name is A, A for anchor tag for HTML. So if you if you do a Google search like for HTML tag, tag list, or tag fit sheet, if you go tag list. So HTML element references. You see, there are several tags for HTML. A tag, A B B R tag, acronym tag, B tag, base tag. So some there are some tags most commonly used, like for A for anchor. So if you come to this page and if you do Google search something, click on over here, it will show you A what is A tag. HTML A element is anchor element. It's created is used to create hyperlink link with other pages or files. So it has, this P tag is for for uh, in paragraph you will un list and number list li list. So you see that most of the tags they started with this and they ended with a, a, a forward slash with the tag name. This is the starting point of this tag and this is the end point of this tag. So 
A tag is used for anchor. Anchor. You see, A tag is used for anchor. So within the A tag, whatever we put, we put something here. You see, this is the this is the end of beginning of A tag. So inside this, we have put class name. We then after them, we put a hyper reference. Hyper reference is, is that. So that means when you click on the reference, it will go to this page. And then this is the privacy tag. This is the text. It is showing instead of instead of showing the whole hyperlink. Okay, it is showing only just privacy. So actually, we 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 on this page we want we see the privacy only over here but actually in the behind the privacy we have the entire this this type hyper reference code so when we click on the privacy link it will be click actually here on this slide okay so now if we see selector selector actually is CSS selector, it starts with a hash sign. All CSS selector, it starts with a hash sign. Then we see that hash sign FSR. This is the CSS selector position. And X path, at the end of X path, this is the X path. Okay, so all X path, so that I want to, in this video actually, I want to teach you how to write X path, custom X path. Actually, all X path start with the beginning to forward slash. Then we write the tag name. Okay. Then within square bracket, within the square bracket, we will type in add the rate. Then we will type in property name. For instance, property ID. At the rate of property name, property name, then we we'll put equal to within double quotation, we will put value. Uh, Sometimes this property name is called attribute. Yes, it is either attribute or property name, and then this is value. Okay, this is the actual, this is the format. Okay, so sometime, thank you. Sometimes, for, let me start with this one that has, sometimes instead of typing the tag name, we can put, uh, like here is tag name, for instance, tag name is this one, is the tag name, tag A. So we will put A over here, tag name, okay? Then within angle bracket, we will put anything in the tag name. For instance, anything in the tag name, but where you put ID, this ID actually is not shown here, but this ID is the parent ID. This ID is the parent ID. So parent ID means this ID is somewhere at the top of this element. So at the top is the element. Parent means, for instance, when the developers developed this website, they made the entire thing, for instance, either this entire stuff or the entire whole this row as a single element. So this is span, they call it span, which is actually these three. Privacy, terms and settings, they call it span, span. And they put an ID for the uh, ID name of the span. So this ID name is FSR. You see FSR? So when you click on FSR, it selects the entire three things, FSR. FSR is the entire three things. Both privacy, terms, and settings. So this ID actually came from the parent. This ID actually came from the parent. And since this parent has multiple, more than one element, one child, more than one child, it has multiple children, so then if we, if some same element has more than um, one child element, by his name, then we call this array. So then, since we are looking for the first element, first element, then we are putting this uh, by, after hash, another hash, this is the A, is array name or anchor name, 
or this uh, this is the tag name and we are putting array index 1 so in, in html array index is here started with 1 2 not 0 so then for instance if we select this one then it will select the privacy one okay so this one okay so this one now for instance if i copy we have this right so there is a way so if we see this second element then what would we see that here it is selecting the second one right terms so you see the terms it is selecting the terms then if we click on the third one then we will see and what is the settings so let me copy the terms as well okay so then copy and then copy xpath so then let us see i want to show you the difference between uh, okay you see then xpath this is the xpath of privacy right and this is the xpath of settings uh terms sorry this is the xpath of terms this is the expert of tabs. This is the expert of privacy. So if we want to now, if we want to find the expert of settings, so then that will be I can identify here quickly. Expert of settings will be. Can anyone please tell me? Expert of settings since these are under one uh, array, so that position is number three. Okay, so we got this expert for privacy element. This is the expert for privacy element. All of these elements have have a single yeah, common ID. That ID is FSR. This is here FSR. And all elements have same for class name FX4VI. Okay, but all the three elements are here on this end under within this pan and so these elements are identified by a1 a2 a3 okay now th there is a way to validate whether my expert calculation is correct or not okay so then if we click on the console you see the console console tab over here this, originally i was in uh, elements this uh, tab so if i click on console tab then for validating export i will write in dollars then for x not in x then within parentheses i will put the i mean what is the number i mean sorry i will put the export within double Okay, so there is a mistake over here, yeah, the common mistake I do always. So then I have to, just if I put uh, up arrow, so I have to change when I find X path here, I have to replace this double position to single position in order to put it in program. I have to replace all double position into single position. I will tell you why. Okay, so then I put mm, what is the mistake after I've done a list? Uh, uh, still, you have the uh, double quotation. Oh, still, I have double quotation here? Yes. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so when I replace. Uh, the double quotation in by single quotation then i see that what is that you see it is showing me if, it, if i click on the array then it show if once it shown it shows me length okay length equals to one then i i know that i'm confirmed that i have got one only one element okay now for instance if i put this without this array Okay, then 
it is showing me span and it should have three length but it is showing me a span okay the span name span span has span if sr that is showing a span not not the entire array that is showing something okay, i don't need to i don't need to go and mess up with my design actually we, we can validate by element one by one not multiple elements of us here so over here I've forgotten um, I'm trying to do here. So if I say if I put my X path over here, so then I will, if I see if I, I do not see any error over here, then I'm right. Then I will see okay my X path calculation is valid. And then once I see over here A dot A is the array name. Okay, A is the array name and dot F X four B I. You see where we get we see F X four B I f x for bi this is the class name right this is the class name we saw this class name we found somewhere for all we see class name f x for bi f x for bi and also for this one f x for bi okay so now if uh, okay, so if we go to console tab, we have to validate in console tab. Now, if I do the second element, okay, then it is showing it is showing same thing. But we will check by the length. If we find the length equal to one, then we will we will very we will be um, confirmed that we have selected only one element. Then for the third element, what do I need to do? Someone can you tell me? I want to be to the third element. Replace number two with three. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Then it is showing me an empty, right? I'm not sure why it is showing my empty. Okay. So this is this has length zero. That means it did not, it could not detect the third element. It could not detect the third. I'm not sure why it did not reach the third element. So let me see this one. Okay. So let me see. Uh, how do I write it? We will write it pound sign. Okay. Then X and then parenthesis. And then, then we will get double position. I set a double position. A pair of double position. Then within pair of double position, we will put the X path has to replace by the, uh, after replacing double position by single position. Okay, it is not getting the third element. Can we get zeroth element? No. But most of the most of the programming languages array start with zero. So this is confusing, even confusing to me. It starts from all. I don't know that logic behind this. Okay. So that is done. then we have seen here the X part of privacy is this, right? Okay. Uh, some sometimes this console validation does not correct. Sometimes it may uh, show the wrong pattern. Right. Okay, but okay. Let us. But some most of the time we can validate it quickly. That yeah, most of the time. But we are not hundred percent accurate. Uh, I, I I have some experience with that. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now let us open our um, open our like project for instance. Uh, this this. What do you write out program? Let me see. This one? Okay. So now if I want to click on this on this uh this privacy tab, okay. So then what do I will do in my program code? So yeah, last week I discussed like this one, right? System dot set property and then we have web driver dot chrome dot driver and we put the, our driver address here right everybody understand this yeah 
yeah so these two lines are the lines for all programs we need these two lines okay then the third line driver dot get okay so we, we are giving the web url of the page that we want to open so after that if we want to click on the privacy link then we will do driver dot driver dot find element my computer is slow driver dot find find element dot find you see when we come to find element this this third line it shows find find element is a method and it takes one by type argument by the type is the class name by uppercase by by type by type and the, the argument that they give by y by but any name they could give over here but we will uh, see that by b uppercase b y by is the type or class name and then it it returns a wave element after colon whatever we see this method returns this wave element and this method find element is declared within the wave driver class so this is meant by this line on this line so we have another corresponding element wave elements yes okay so when we have when you want to work with multiple elements in an array then we will use find elements letter so we remember that for find element we have to use by so we are giving by dot and then after by we are giving we are calling a, a static method these are the static method by id by link test by name by partial link test by expand so the easiest and convenient way is to use by id if is id if id is available in, within my selected code so here my selected code is my selected code is I can I can close it over here I want to pull it up again sorry my selected code over here is privacy right privacy so in respect so within privacy do i have id no. i have id i have id here within span but that is out of my selected idea so here i cannot use id directly i cannot use id directly if i would have id over here a id equal to this something so then we could use id directly but here um, we are not lucky enough that we don't have id directly within our selected area so this is why we have to use expert differently okay so but we have here this is the privacy word privacy is the link test so as i mentioned is this is the link test this privacy link test these terms is the link test these settings is the link test so we have a way that if we, we use by link test, by link test, then we can easily get the uh, link test. But here we want to use by expert. By expert. Uh, easy to select automatically. We need to stop typing in initially. If we select expert. So it's an X path, we see that this method it takes one argument, things type argument that expresses the X path of the wave element and it returns a by type element and this X path is declared within the by class. This is the meaning of this line. So if we select double click on this X path. Then within double quotation, we have to give the expert name. So then, 
Daniel. Daniel. You see, why we do we need to replace double quotation with by single quotation? Because we know this is a string. So we are get we are giving the x part we are giving an a string type value to the x part and since this x part this uh, in our x part we already have a double quotation. So this is why we in a double quotation another set of double quotation would make an error. So this is why we are giving here we are replacing the double quotation, inner double quotation by single double quotation. Okay, so then this method is not done yet because within our according to our definition of X path. So if we, if we now select it if I press F3, it will take me to the declaration by class. So it is a static method, you see, public static by. This by is the return type by an X path then it takes a final type string express. Final means it cannot be replaced, it cannot be changed. Once we assign this to final. Okay. And this return method returns a byte type in something is here. By type object. You see by it returns. Okay. So, what we are giving here, okay, so this is not done yet, so we simply did it return something by another object, okay, by it x bar. This is why we need to give something else, oh, oh. something else, something else, but we can say let's see what it expects at the end, which is dot, okay. Then it has multiple options. It has clear, click, equal, gain by find element. Okay. Actually, we will click on web element. Web element type click. Okay. Then we will be happy. Then what will, what will be doing here? So now it is clicking on the, clicking on the, so I don't need this two lines. It is clicking, it will click on the, X path. So if you run this program, then we will see, then it will click on the X path. We will run this program and wait over here. So then if we see, so we have given a uh, uh, a pinch panel over here. So that means if we see in our program code, if we see this, this uh, text output on our console, then we will be sure that this line is executed. So let us click over there. Do right click and then let us click on run as. Run as. And then run as Java application. You will see shortly it will click, it will open it will click uh, it will it will open uh, a google page and it will click on the privacy terms okay so then it is waiting for a few seconds so now if i go to go to this you see that i see that click on the privacy link that means up to this has been executed.